back again with another video and this is really just showing where I am with the Dreamcast coding and it's probably been around a month or so since I uploaded the last video and this is really just showing what I can do with the with the tracks by just manipulating it in different axes really so this is showing it rotating um, you know, roll pitch and yaw and a combination of quite a few um, axes at the same time. So on the previous video I had some comments to say that this reminded them quite a lot of F-Zero and I hadn't really played the N64 version of the game and I had a look at it on YouTube and I'm thinking yeah actually that is quite similar the way the track gets generated is seems to be quite similar um, that it's based on a I wouldn't say it's procedurally generated in, in the case of F-Zero but it's a similar kind of track so I thought that was really interesting um, but the game that I'm wanting to build is more of a spacey kind of game so if you think back to Galaxy Force 2 and um, Soul Star on the Mega CD and I'm really just looking back at those and thinking well can I do something similar but a bit different so I I watched a video the other day by Steve Benway and it was a 3DS game that he was showing and it's got all these tunnel sections and in a way it reminded me a little bit of the the bonus levels on Sonic 2 on the Mega Drive and the similar sections on Sonic 3D on the Saturn and I thought okay well let's let's see where I can get with that because I, what I wanted to have were sections that are on ground, sections that are in space, sections that go into tunnels and I thought well having it rectangular was a bit boring so would it be that difficult to just make a formula that draws it as a as a cylinder and then just manipulate it as I'm manipulating the track so that seems to be quite simple. Um, the frame rate's okay-ish uh, what I've got the engine to do is to detect what the frame rate is and then adjust the draw distance based on that. Oh, that was a weird thing. I don't know what's happened there. I think I've got to the end of the track. That will be why. So, yeah, I'll leave it there. So this was really just another quick video to show where I've got in the last month or so. I've not had a lot of time to really do any coding, so it's probably just about a day or two's work on this. You know, a couple of evenings here and there. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and hopefully more soon.